Nemanja Vidic is regarded as one of the best centre-backs of the Premier League era, and today we are looking at the new Nemanja Vidic. It is Mihailo Ilic, another Serbian, 20 years old, and if you look at the information in-game, he is dubbed as the new Vidic. So I've not just made this up, he is regarded by some as the man to replace him. So at the game, value between £1 and £3 million pounds on £500 a week, so you can snap him up pretty cheaply at the start of the game. As always, we've used the in-game editor to put him to his max potential. So his maximum potential is 160. We're going to see if over the career he can get to this. At the moment, as you can see, he looks very raw, but he does look good already. 13 heading, marking, 14 tackling, some good physical attributes, right-footed centre-back, and hopefully when we progress through this, we will see him develop and become the new Vidic. What we're going to do is we're going to, as always, Simulate so mean, 5 seasons, 10 seasons, 15 seasons, and then the end of his career. See how he has developed attribute-wise and see if he's made any moves. See how he's getting on at the national team. See if he can get close to the potential ability range at the max end of 160 that he has. So here we are at the end of Season 5, and he is a Manchester United centre-back. 24-year-old Illich, now capped 36 times by the Serbian national side on £56,000 per week. As you can see, Hayden's up to 15, Markham's 15, Tackle up to 17, he's got good positioning, mental attributes all going up and his physicals are brilliant. 17 jumping reach, 16 pace, he's got stamina, he's got good strength. He has, as we said, played 36 times for the national team, 3 for the under 21s. We'll take a look to see how he got here. He actually moved originally to the Saudi Pro League for £7.75 million, pounds, played 26 times his first season, 34 times his next season for then moving on to Manchester United for £22 million. So far, in his time Manchester United, he has not managed to win anything. Um, he's been named in the best 11, both for his national team and for Manchester United. So hopefully, if we fast forward another five years into the future, we'll see if he has been able to win anything at Manchester United. A further five years into the future, and he's now valued between 34 and £101 million. Pounds. Still playing for Manchester United at 29 years old, he's been capped 82 times by the national team. He is described by the media as a powerful centre-back. Attributes still on the rise, marking 16, tackling 16, great positioning, great bravery and anticipation. Physical still looking absolutely brilliant. Now on £115,000 a week, take a look at his career milestones. Has he won anything since we last checked in? And he has. He won the FA Cup in 2029 and then was runners up the FA Cup the following season but won the Europa League, the European South American Club Challenge Cup and the UEFA Super Cup the following season again winning the FA Cup in the 2031 season and again in 2032 winning the Carabao Cup in 2033 so he is a cup merchant this man likes to win cup trophies the Premier League still evaded him Champions League still not quite there but he is a mainstay in this Manchester United side we'll take a look at exactly the career starts he's had so he is a regular starter for this Manchester United side. Again, as always, we will move another five years into the future to get to the end of 2038, see if he's still a Manchester United player, see if he's managed to win any more trophies, see if he has been able to build that rock-solid base that Manu Vidic had provided previously. We are at the end of the 37-38 season and the 34-year-old Mihailo Ilic is a Spurs player however he is joining Al Qadisa so he is on his way back to Saudi Arabia still looks very good some of his attributes are on the way in a wee bit but he is 34 years old veteran centre back captain 90 things by the Serbian national team now uh, he's continued at Man United for a good number of years past where we last saw still playing we're moving to Spurs for 26 million pounds in terms of milestones, so since we last checked in on him, he has won the FA Cup again, he's won the Premier League, he's won the Champions League, won the UEFA Super Cup, won another Premier League winner's medal in the 2035, as well as another FA Cup, another Champions League, FA Community Shield and a Super Cup. So he was the bedrock for that Manchester United backline. Won back-to-back -back Premier Leagues and back-to-back -back Champions Leagues. This man is brilliant. His final season at Manchester United, he won the FA Cup again before moving to Tottenham for £19.5 million, pound, rising to 26 where again at Tottenham he has won the FA Cup. Now at 34 years old, the next time we'll check in on him, he'll probably be retiring. Will he get any more caps to his name to push him over the 100 cap mark? Will he come back to England and win another FA Cup? We'll wait and see. 
the year is 2042 and Illich has retired from football. After spending just the one season back in Saudi Arabia starting 34 games, he moved back to boyhood club Partizan and played another 83 times. As you can see, on the left hand side he did not make any more appearances for the national team, capping out at 90. In his time, he started off at Partizan as we saw, then moved over to Saudi Arabia before Manchester United. At Manchester United he won two Premier Leagues, two Champions Leagues, he won the UEFA Super Cup three times, he won the Europa League, he won the FA Cup six times for Manchester United, won the Carabao Cup, won the FA Community Shield, won the European South American Club Challenge Cup before moving to Tottenham and winning another FA Cup, taking his total of FA Cups to seven. After that he moved to Saudi Arabia for one more season, get one last payday before moving back to his home nation for £4 million, where there he lifted the Serbian Cup in 2040. In terms of overall competitions, he won 19 in total across his career. In terms of personal accolades, the only one that he <laughs> seems to have here is a Serbian Young Player Runner-Up Award. However, looking at that career, would you take a punt on him at just a couple of million pounds? As I said, he is the next Nemanja Vidic, and I would say he has earned that title with the Premier Leagues, the Champions Leagues, all the cups he's won. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment down below who you would like to see me try and find next. Do you want to find me to find the next Ibrahimovic, the next Leo Messi, the next Roy Keane? Anybody you can think of, just let me know down below. Subscribe, and I will see you next time.